Hey, what's going on everybody? So uh, yesterday I went to an auction and so I'm just gonna go over uh, some things I purchased there. But yeah, I'll just show you what's kind of in here, what I paid for it, and then I'll probably pull everything out and show you exactly what's all in the box. Uh, but yeah, let's, uh, let's look at what I got. So I ended up spending a total of $59 at this auction. Um, I got this box here. It's got a lot of old vintage stuff, but the main thing I looked at, which, or the only really thing I looked at was this toy box. Um, it's the, the Lunar Explorer Delta 55. It's like a, well, I'll show you when I pull it out, but um, when I looked there, I was comping out for like 15, maybe 20 bucks, something like that. But I paid 15 bucks for this whole box. As you can see, there's other, uh, I know those are logs. And more logs so you know i'm pretty sure i got my money's worth in here old yahtzee and then this item i bought it for two bucks uh only reason i bought it for was for these glasses uh, i thought they were glass i really didn't check them out before but they're plastic but um for two bucks i think uh, i don't know I should get something for them and i haven't really looked else to see what's in here but i don't know anything you know i'm sure there's something else that maybe might sell but i mean two bucks it is what it is and then this one i paid a dollar for um only reason i picked it up was i mean there is a fan i'll have to check and see if it works but i'm sure i could get rid of that on marketplace or something um some greater uh but yeah the main thing was this box is full of pencils now some of you are gonna laugh but uh this pack is open but it's got a pack of uh lisa frank uh, apparently some Lisa Frank stuff sells pretty well. Um, kind of been learning that from watching uh, Part Time Picker. But yeah, there's a few other ones loose in here, and they also say, you know, Lisa Frank on them. So, but I don't know. I guess I'll pick through it, but for a dollar. Now this is gonna be the most I paid for. Um, this was actually the first item I purchased. I quickly looked through it. Um, all I did was I grabbed this box looked at the year i didn't really inspect any of this i opened the top saw the vehicle was in there but didn't really inspect the vehicle i just i didn't want to draw too much attention when i was there uh looking looking at it but i was there a good maybe half hour early because just want to show up early so i could inspect you know look around and just check things out and that's what kind of what i did but i should have done it a little deeper but um so i paid 32 dollars for this anyways i picked this up uh I'll show you here after I lay it out, but yeah, this is 1984 Ecto-1A uh, Ghostbusters vehicle. Like I, I said, I like uh, collecting this vintage, so I'm not really collecting, picking it up and then trying to... But I see somebody um, might have had it at a garage, so at some point you can see a couple little stickers here. And then uh, there's a Spawn vehicle there. Didn't really look into that. And then there's a Spawn, uh, it says Alley Action Playset. So I'll check that out see what's all there hopefully most of the parts are there but again yeah i just turned the flip saw this i know this is gi joe uh looks like it was 50 cents at one time but uh got that not sure what this is some small bolt type thing but yeah so this was the most expensive lot and then there's like a and it's like a mat to do something but i don't think it belongs to any of these but yeah, 32 bucks was the most I paid for that, or the most expensive thing I paid for. Um, then I got this lot. They were just there for a dollar. Another storage little container to put stuff in for a dollar, not bad. And then I picked this up for a dollar there too, only because of uh, these little, I remember having these like, not as a kid maybe, but I remember seeing them. They've been out, uh, I don't know, a long time now. I don't know, maybe it was a kid. But I don't think it says a year. So I got them for that. I mean, I fear for a dollar if anything, they don't sell. I'll just donate them. Uh, and also, yeah, this bag of um, cotton balls came with that. So this was a dollar and then the box was a dollar. 
And then this is probably my best, to me anyways, my score there as I'm a G.I. Joe collector. Um, I saw this there. I'm trying to get the glare out. Um, I paid $2 for this. Nobody else bid on it. Uh, just the box itself, I'm sure it might be worth money. Um, and the vehicle is in there, but I didn't inspect it. So when I got back to the vehicle, my truck, put it back in there. I started to check it out. I know this top part's in there. The missiles are on the bottom. Uh, one of the wheels is off. I'm going to see if I can put it back on. The rim's still on. There's just a rubber wheel came off. Um, and then somewhere along here on the vehicle, there's a broken part on it. So, I mean, but I don't know. This I thought this was awesome. I've never really found anything like this before. So for two bucks, yeah, I'll take that any day. Uh, I got these glasses. I got a bunch downstairs. Um, I used to have more and I did sell a bunch like in a wave one time on Facebook. Um, but again, yeah, I, I got a bunch downstairs. Or maybe I'll have to show you that. But uh, but I just think they're cool. I like the, you know, design on them, how they look, you know. Unfortunately, they're glass. They don't make stuff like that, really. $5 for all of this. Yeah, but I got to get those listed, try getting those up for sale. But again, I'm going to show you guys, um, pull everything out and just show you everything, like what's in all that box, you know, and go kind of go through some things, see if there's anything worth uh any potential money in this thing oh and then i got this army wool blanket there uh actually my old boss was there um i was thinking about bidding on this there was two of them in the box the army ones and he was standing behind me i wasn't paying attention and it was like seven or 750 and even that was cheap but i was like eh, i wasn't for sure and then he wanted yeah he gave me one appreciated that um but yeah other than that i think it was a good score regardless uh 59 total again i'll show you um what's all in there if anything's missing or whatever what i we can get and what i can get and go from there all right so i pulled everything out of this box we'll go through this box first um uh so there was a total of 12 items in this box i paid 15 bucks for this one uh we'll just kind of go down the list there's two of these um 1962 pylon uh, it looks like they were selling for about five to nine dollars. Um, I did an average costing. I'll probably go at the end over it again. Um, but for the twelve items in this box, I paid an average of one twenty-five per item. So uh, potentially worth five to nine dollars times two. Actually, this one, one of them, yeah, this one, it's supposed to be a ball in there. This one's missing the ball and the lid. This one's complete. We have two boxes of this. Uh, vintage hall sam club dominoes this one there's already a little post-it note it says it's complete it is open i think one of them has the instructions on it i can't remember if the other one does unless it's at the bottom but that might be missing but it does this one says there's uh missing four or two pieces i don't know if it's four or, it says four and then dash or equals two so i don't know anyways now i can't get this lid on all right, uh, but those were looked like they were selling for maybe ten bucks. Uh, then we got the. This was the only thing I really looked up in the box when I was there. So, vintage uh, Lunar Explorer Delta Fifty Five. I couldn't find a year on it. It is all there. I took it out. Uh, the only thing it's missing is there's a battery cover there, so it's missing that. But it's got the little missiles, uh, the top part. But this was, I think there was one comp on this that sold for, and it looked like that had the battery cover, but it also had the box like I do. The box is not in bad condition, um, but it sold for 30 bucks, so potentially, I would say 20, 25 bucks for it. Um, 1964 Crazy Ikes, or yeah, I got both of these. Uh, they both have the instructions inside of them. I don't know if they're, the one looks like it hasn't been played with, but the other one does. You can tell just how it is. I think they were selling for, I found comps for five bucks, so not eh, not the greatest. Maybe I'll, I'll lot them up or something, maybe see what I can get from like that. And then we have the American Vintage Logs. I couldn't find a year on those, but they were going for about 12 to 34 bucks. Uh, then we got the American, or the Square American Logs. Um, those are selling for five to 15. We got the uh, 1956 Yahtzee game. It looks like it's all there, except it's missing the tray that holds everything. But it's got um, 
the instructions, a little bit of the game pads. Plus, it's got uh, like three or four brand new, still looking um, of these little score pads. It's got the dice, the little cup, some chips, two little pencils. Uh, that looks like it's going for about ten to twenty-five bucks. So again, twelve items in this box. Um, paid fifteen dollars for it. Average cost of one twenty-five. On to the next box. All right, so here's another box. Uh, everything here came out of this box. I paid a dollar for this box. So this 1964 Batman pin goes for about four to ten bucks, something like that. Um, oh, the West Point desk box or fan. This is was open, but when you pull it out, it's still in the bag. It looks brand new. Uh, that sells for 13 to 22 bucks. The main reason I bought this box for a dollar was because this box was all full of pencils and stuff. And I found this uh, Lisa Frank pencils. Uh, the bottom is opened up, so some of the pencils did fall out. But there's eight in there. And then there's also six loose ones. Um, just from watching um, part-time pickers, him talking about all the Lisa Frank stuff he finds. Uh, these are selling for about 10 bucks. So hopefully we can get about 10, 15 bucks for these. Well, looking through all these pencils and stuff that were in this box, that's where I got the Lisa Frank stuff. Uh, I found these little erasers. They're Itoya is the brand. Found a lot of like 51 of these sold on eBay for $12. So I have four of them here. Uh, then I found this mechanical pencil with the same brand. Um, found that the pencil sells for 10 bucks. So I'll probably get 10 to 15 bucks for that. And this eraser, vintage eraser, nineteen seventy-seven, sells for about forty bucks. And then, oh, uh, also vintage lead that was in the box for five bucks. So everything, all the items were average cost of twelve cents since I paid a dollar for this box. What's up, guys? All right, so I gone ahead and just put some of these in bags just to get them out of the way but like i didn't mention this but i didn't find these uh vintage refill highlighter things uh the colors look a little dark so i'm not sure if they're any good there's two like yellow ones and one pink one uh, i didn't find any comps on those but maybe i'll light them up with something all right so we got this box uh this one i paid two dollars for um only reason i bought them was because of these glasses here i thought they were glass i really didn't look at them but it's one of the spur of the moment things where i was like oh for two bucks but um yeah looking at this these are 1994 disney burger king glasses uh i thought they were glass but they're plastic um but i saw comps for i think one was like selling one for like four bucks or so and then if they were together maybe seven eight dollars i don't know these beanie roosters i guess one's the strut the big one and then this is a tiny it's the same version of it but tinier um they're going for two to six bucks and then there's really nothing else in this basket or box, basket, box that I really found. Just some coffee mugs from Mexico. Uh, and that was about it. Well, I got to check this. There's a button here I need to check into. But other than that, I mean, this was in there. Actually, this was in the vintage or vintage, that box of uh, um, that I paid 15 bucks for. So that's a vintage Fisher Price. Uh, this little pig went to the market. I think it's from like 1950s, 60s or something like that. At least that's what the ones on eBay say they were sold. Um, they were selling between seven, 10 to 17 bucks. Needs to be cleaned up, but. Um. All right, so box number five. This is uh, the glasses. Uh, I got a bunch of these downstairs, so I got to list them. Uh, so I ended up paying five bucks for this box and there are nine glasses in here. There are three of these ones and then there's one of each of those. And then there's Davy Crockett and then two uh, Camp Snoopy ones. And then this weird, I couldn't find the date on this, but it has like a song and I was able to look, see the same one. So uh, it is listed, but I don't think any of them sold. But uh, the, this is a 1981, the Great Muppet Caper. It's a McDonald's glass. 
Um, I, like I said, I have three of them. This is, I got them turned so you can kind of see the images. Uh, they are selling between five and eleven dollars each. And if you break it down from the five dollars that I paid, it comes down to like 55 cents a glass. Uh, next is uh, McDonald's um, Camp Snoopy. So I got, I think there's five in the set. I got two out of the five. They kind of ranged. It seems like they were selling better if you had the complete set, but as for single glasses or in pairs, they were selling between four and seven dollars, which is okay. Um, next is the Pepsi 1976 Daffy Duck and Pepe Le Pew. Um, I don't know if I got this one. But uh, this is 1976 uh, Pepsi. Uh, it's going between five and twelve dollars. This one by itself. So uh, then we have the 1973 Pepsi uh, Beaky Buzzard. I think I have this one already downstairs. I might. Otherwise, I did and got sold it. But uh, I think all these just need a good cleaning. But otherwise, they're all in good shape. The paint's on there real well. Uh, nice and bright on majority of these. This is selling between four and fifteen bucks. So again, that's not. I knew those would probably be worth a little more than uh, like some of this stuff up here. But this Davy Crockett doesn't have a year on it, and I couldn't find one. But then I forgot what I didn't. Uh, my camera's not working on my phone, so I couldn't take a picture of it. But I couldn't remember if the same. It was the same pattern design that was showing up. Now that I think about it, there might have been a few, but um, I couldn't find one. So we'll have to double check this one again, but I don't know. You'd think it'd be worth a few bucks. And again, this one here doesn't have a year on it, but um, it's got some song. And I went off that title there and I found a few lists like this. There were no sold comps on this, but the one or so that were listed were like 14-ish. So it doesn't mean it's selling for 14, but I don't know, maybe I could try listing it for eight, 10 bucks, something like that, see what happens. All right, so then uh, box number six around there um there's actually if you remember from the beginning there's a bunch of like stuffed animals in here stuff like that um i've already gone through them uh the other ones weren't i couldn't find anything on them so i'm assuming they weren't worth anything or whatever um so just i've already taken them out and gonna donate them um but these ones uh, i figured these were might be worth something so that's why i got it um they're not in bad shape i think one of them just I need to be cleaned up a little bit. Again, I paid one, so it's not bad. And then there's this frisbee in here. I'm not sure. I've been trying to look that up. Can't find anything on it, but maybe it's not anything. All right, so the last item I got at the auction, well, it wasn't the last item. The last item I'm showing you from the auction is the G.I. Joe uh, battle wagon that I got there. It's uh, 1991. Um, if you don't know yeah i'm a gi joe collector so this is one of the things i spot right away uh the box is not in too bad condition for being as old i mean it does have some spots up there and stuff it is open that's what the vehicle was in um but again it's not in bad shape i want it for two dollars uh, i've kind of looked up it's going for i mean with the box maybe a 20 to 40 bucks but this is something i'll probably just keep for myself anyways um, after I got it, I did notice like uh, the back part up here, the other side is, this actually comes off. I can hide a guide in there. Something like that, but uh, yeah, it's broke off right here. Uh, I'm not sure. So this is actually battery powered. Um, I'll check the batteries out, but. Um, it does have a battery cover as well. I've already took it off and it has batteries, no corrosion. And I actually press the button and it does still work. Well, this part anyways. Um, but I hear something rattling in there. So I'm probably gonna tear this apart. So let's see what that is. Uh, but again, uh, if anything, if I want to, I guess I could, I could probably break this down and sell it in parts if I needed to and make a little decent money off of it. There's always other vehicles that people are trying to piece together. So, all right. So if we go over everything, um, we're looking at for this auction. Um, I spent fifty nine dollars, seven different lots. I guess you would call them or boxes, whatever. Went through everything. About thirty seven items total from everything that I got that I will potentially list and 
hopefully sell. Other than that, I hope you enjoyed this video and see what other auctions are coming up. All right, guys, thanks for watching.